Hi there, good morning. Uh, my name is Jason. What I have here right now to share with you is a Buddleia davidii. Um, this is also known as the butterfly bush. Um, some often refer to this also as the summer lilac. Um, but yeah, it's the summer here in California and that is the bloom season for this plant. Uh, this one behind me is called white perfusion. Um, and it's a Buddleia davidii. Um, Buddleia davidii is native to China and Japan. Uh, this plant reaches up to six to eight feet tall and wide, and it's a perennial semi-evergreen um, shrub. And so uh, it's a pretty awesome plant. Uh, it's right behind me here, so I'm gonna zoom in and let you get a closer look at the flowers. Uh, so, but yeah, so here is the plant. Um, it's actually been blooming for a while. So as you can see, there's a number of spent flowers all over it so um the flowers they they open up um this white color and then they fade to like a rusty brown um and so as the flowers are um, as they finish um feel free to remove them that's something i have to do here but um when they're in bloom there are these panicles of white flowers and oh my gosh these they smell like honey they smell just like honey they smell wonderful uh this is a part of the moon garden here um it's you know because it has this explosion of like you know the white flowers and then this silvery foliage if you, as you can see the undersides of the leaves have like this um silvery let me see can you see that um yeah so the undersides of the leaves are like this silvery sheen and then the top sides are green it's like this sagey green um here are some more flowers um, this, um, this plant is cold hardy to zero degrees Fahrenheit and it wants sun to part sun. Uh, there's some clouds coming over right now, so we've got some part sun going on here. But, um, as far as the, uh, the water requirements, um, it has medium to low water requirements. It's very drought tolerant. Um, it is deer and gopher resistant, which is pretty awesome. It doesn't mean that they won't come and try your plant out, but this is like not a favorite. Um, I've planted this in a number of different gardens with gophers and I've never had any problem. And I've never seen the deer come by and eat it. I don't think, no. Um, so it's a pretty awesome plant. Uh, as far as fertilizer, um, it doesn't need much fertilizer. A side mulch in the fall will do. If you do want to give it some fertilizer, I'd recommend giving it a 555 or a 101010 garden fertilizer. Um, as far as the soil pH, it's adaptable. Um, you can plant this in slightly acidic to um, neutral soil or even alkaline, but it prefers slightly acidic to neutral. Uh, and um, yeah, cold hardy to zero degrees Fahrenheit, very cold hardy. Um, butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds love this plant. Our resident hummingbird actually is addicted to this plant. It just flits like all over it and just, you know, the, the flowers, um, these tubular flowers have nectar in them and the hummingbird absolutely loves that. Um, when planting, uh, when choosing the soil type for this, you want to plant it in, um, loam or sand or clay that's amended um you know it can grow in clay soil apparently but um i would really amend it and make sure you have that drainage because it'll do better under those circumstances uh as far as pests and diseases not too many pests and diseases um i think some insects use this plant um as a host maybe um i know butterflies love this plant uh but yeah, for the most part, it's not, there's not many pests, you know. Um, with pruning though, you do have to be aware of pruning. So um, as these flowers are spent, you want to, to prune them off and sometimes that encourages more blooms to come. Uh, but also um, in the early spring or even late winter, you want to prune this plant down to um, two feet tall. So like way from up here, like all the way down to here. Um, that way you can reduce the, the woody, like kind of scraggly growth um, this plant uh, can have. Um, so you want to really make sure that you give it that hard pruning um, late winter to early spring. And then um, you can prune it down to a size and shape after the blooms are done at the end of the summer or early fall if you like to do that as well. But do make sure you do that because if you don't do that, um, you'll notice like the, the, you'll get a lot of like woody trunk growth and there'll be leaves that start to dry up on it and just hang on. And it's, it's, it's not the most sightly thing, you know, but um, remember, prune it down in the, in the late winter, early spring. Um, as far as fun facts, you know, once again, deer tolerant, gopher tolerant, drought tolerant. It's a good moon garden plant. It smells nice. It has these beautiful flowers. Um, hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies love this plant. I love this plant. Um, 
But yeah, yeah, this is Budlia Davidii, also known as the Butterfly Bush, and I'm Jason. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to have updates on my newest videos, please do. Uh, and any questions you have about this plant, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Once again, this is Jason. Thanks again.